Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel on YouTube with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. How is it going? I've been doing, uh, I did a couple back-to-back, -back, uh, minute-long harmonica solos. So I figured I should do a vlog just to round things out. Um, I put a real long description in my last, uh, the last video I posted. It's really just a promotional video for this channel that I'm going to post on Instagram. Funny how I haven't gotten around to posting it on Instagram yet. But, uh, it's been a busy day. Um, I found my clip-on bow tie. Uh-huh. Yes, I did. I have another one of these. Hillary sent it to me. It's pretty snappy. Um, I really want to learn how to tie a bow tie. I have a beautiful one. I have two beautiful ones. Um, and, and Kelsey, of course, who knows how to pretty much do everything under the sun, uh, knows how to tie a bow tie. And because uh, she wears them occasionally for her, uh, well, not right now, but for her uh, concert band for, uh, performances and such. Um, yeah. So I know I'm going on about it, but I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm going to uh, do my first sessions for my album on uh, Monday and uh, Monday and Tuesday. I'm going to get in the studio. I'm really excited. I'm really nervous about it, but uh, I'm really excited. The the things you can do in a multi-track studio are incredible as compared to what I can do here on my phone. You know, um, I have so many ideas, and it's 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 quite a jumble in my head, <laughs> but. Uh, one cool thing is, uh, one thing I, I would really like to have for this recording is, uh, is a good, uh, jaw harp, like, like this one, um, a Snoopy harp. Now, I love this thing. Ross, Ross, uh, Gertin gave this to me when he came to jam with me uh, a couple of years ago, um, which was very kind of him, um. After trying to play it and almost breaking my teeth off <laughs> a number of times, um, I've come to learn that it's actually a kind of a dangerous instrument to play, this particular model. Um, reasons being are the gaps between the, the tongue and the, and the sides are uh, far too wide. They need to be right close up to the the thing um, and this uh, spring steel trigger and uh, arm are uh, far too thick <laughs> and uh, it's, it's just um, I, you know I'm very grateful for this Ross thank you very much but it, it's just I, I, I see I've been talking to my friend Lotus White Sam Allison dear dear friend of mine and uh, I asked him if I could borrow. He collects jaw harps uh, from all around the world. And I knew he'd, he'd have one he could lend me. Um, I need one in the key of G. Uh, or a, either an untuned model or a one in the key of G. But he said he'd dig me up a key of G. And, uh, yeah. So I'm going to have that for the recording. Um, which is cool, because you'll see why when it's done. Um, but the best part of all that is I got to talk to my friend Sam again. And, um, haven't talked to, really talked to him in quite some time. Um, Sam and I were, were thick as thieves when we were in the Silver Hearts together. We always, uh, traveled together. Him and his Camry, we were, called ourselves Camry Boys. And, uh, you know, Sam's, Sammy's my boy. He's, uh, he, you know, he 
he's one of those friends you can not see for years and years, like has happened, and pick up right where you left off, you know. Um, he's just a great, great friend of mine. And, uh, and he's been kind of going through it for a, over a year now, a year and a half now, I think. Because uh, he had to take a year off of music for family times. And, uh, like, he, you know, he's a family man, right? And it's hard when, when you're a family man, a uh, couple kids and a wife, and you're, you're touring across the seas for half the year or more than half the year, you know, and not really making a lot of money. Um, the music industry, we were talking about that. The music industry is... It's, it's, it's an awful thing for the most part. Um, yeah, stay independent. Stay in, in all you, all you, uh, all you people coming into music that, uh, watch my channel. You know, you stay 100% independent. You have 100% uh, control over what you do. Uh, I'm lucky because I'm I'm on a label that basically lets me do whatever I like. They they you know they have certain small requirements of me, but they're completely manageable. Like like they want me to do a high the kind of a hi-fi album, and uh, I haven't purposely haven't done one for quite some time. Um, but yeah, that's it. All comes. Back to this uh, recession on Monday. I'm going to Tyler's place to lay down some tracks. Um, it's been really cool, you know. I can't I can't cover any old blues songs uh, on this album. I gotta. It's all original. It gotta be original material. Um, so, which is fine. I got shitloads in it, original material. Um, but yeah, just the ideas that are swirling in my head, you know, on things I want to do. One thing down the line that I want to do, I think I mentioned, is I want to make a, a Vaporwave album, Vaporwave-style album, uh, using nothing but harmonicas and old uh, harmonica band records and stuff like that. Just nothing but the sound of harmonicas, except twisted and bent and delayed and stopped and started and you know just completely not what you hear in the harmonica world you know um it's my mission <laughs> to destroy all musics and uh <laughs> that's not true um i like to put my own spin on things so um That's very true. That's my, I always say that. You gotta, you gotta play in your own voice. You know, you gotta, you gotta, if you're gonna spend your life trying to copy someone, uh, or be, you know, be somebody else, like, why? You know, if, you know, the music you make is your music. And embrace it, and, you know. I've been playing guitar since I was 11. I, only still only know five campfire chords on the guitar and how to do a solo in E, you know, and and I've had a pretty good run with uh, being a guitar player in bands, you know, um, and harmonica, you know, I've been playing har harmonica since I was nine, and you know, to some. Uh, A lot of people don't like my styles, but um, I, I I wouldn't do it any other way, so fuck them, you know? Um, it's, it's just, you gotta be, you gotta be you. You gotta sing in your own voice, talk in your own voice, walk your own walk, you know? I'm dipping some Bobby Stoker's... Uh, not in my pocket. Um, mint, blue mint. Oh, it's one of my favorites. Love it. And uh, yeah. Um, 
What else is going on? So I'm looking forward to some videos of my friends coming up. Uh, Blind Sight says he has some pretty interesting videos coming up. Excited about that. Um, always excited to see what Snuff Strings is up to. And Wayside Lee, 83. Um, the Slime Molds. <laughs> I'm always excited to see my Kawashi. Kawashi. Always excited to see friends' new videos. Um, but all right, folks. I hope you're all well, having a good Wednesday. Um, it's two more days of the weekend, remember? Uh, yeah, weekend. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Be well, everyone.